Hey gang, glad you're back for another video. Now, I've been promising to do something different on my last couple videos, but I do live in this winter wonderland called Michigan. So I haven't been able to go ahead and get out and complete the projects I wanted to. But I do have a nice day today, it's a beautiful sunny day, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a review on another BB gun. It's the Glock 19 BB gun. Anyway, don't forget, if you like my videos, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button on the left side. And I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the subscribe over here on the right side. For me, it helps my channel grow. It makes, uh, my ch my, makes my videos get out to more people. And if you have any comments, good or bad, please drop them down below. And I'd like to read them. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is my tabletop review of the Glock 19 BB gun. Now, this is the Glock 27 Smith & Wesson 40. I brought this out so you can compare the two, get a good look. It's empty, mags out. You can see thickness is about the same. The seven, uh, the 19 is a bit, uh, a bit taller, a bit longer than the 26. 26, basically a compact gun. The mag, and then the seven, uh, 19. A little bit bigger gun than the 26. Anyway, that's the two of them together. Now this gun is the 19. You can see there's no safety. The trigger is the safety. It has the third trigger in the center. That's how you fire it. it. Cannot be fired without that. Look at the gun from the side. You can see the sight is the back. The other side. There's nothing in there, so the front. And then we'll show you this gun also has one canister for goes in the back. Okay, so you move that. And then you have to put the canister in. CO2 cartridge. This goes up inside. Have to, the tool is right here in the gun. Have to pull it out. That's the tool. I have to unscrew this a little bit. Get the canister in. And there you go, it fits in nice. And you tighten it up. I'm not gonna compress it all the way because I'm not gonna shoot it here. But that just tightens in. Okay, it's almost all the way there. Put the little tool back. Back in. When you're ready, you just use a tool to compress it right here, a little hex head. Your magazine, it's already got BBs in, holds about 16 BBs, I think. One, two, three, four, six, seven, about 16 BBs. Clicks in nice and easy. There's nothing in there, so it won't shoot. There's no, not compressed air or anything. Oh, and by the way, this is a non-blowback BB gun. Now, all the other BB guns I've reviewed have had a blowback, meaning the slide kicks back, little hammer and shoots. Now I got this BB gun for a specific reason. I ended up going ahead and buying it because I wanted to go ahead and see if I get more power, more feet per second, more power with this BB gun because it's not doing the blowback feature. And I wanted to see if I get more rounds out of a CO2 cartridge than I do out of the blowback guns. Um, what happens is with the blowback I get between 50 and 100 shots depending on which gun I'm using and I'm going to see if this one shoots harder and if it shoots more. Anyway like I said there's no no slide on this one. A slide like this. Okay see that's a slide. Nothing in there. 
That's a slide for the real gun, but put that back together. And you have that. And that's it for the tabletop review. We're gonna go out and do some plinking, some shooting. I got some water balloons, I got some cans, I got some bottles, some targets, whatever else we can find. But we're gonna go take this BB gun out. And I'm also gonna do a, a uh, test with this one along with all the other ones for power and accuracy. So we'll be doing that too. All right, let's go. All right, so that was it for the tabletop. Once again, uh, not that much different than the other BB guns. I just wanted to show you what we were doing and have a little quick comparison between the two blocks. So now we're gonna go out and we'll try some shooting. I said I got different things, we're gonna go plinking. So let's get to it now. And here's a couple kids out on a lake. Also, you'll see some people out ice fishing. It's a nice sunny day, but it's brisk and cold. Good for some winter sports. Here we found ourselves a good little branch where you can put some cans and some bottles and do some plinking, do a little bit of shooting with the gun, testing it out, watching the cans. See them go down, one, two, three. A lot of fun. And now it's the sharpshooter's turn. She's the real dead eye, hardly ever misses. Handles the gun pretty good. She'll take out all these pop cans one at a time. We have a few set up here now on the branch. And you'll see I have five set up here in a minute. She takes them all out one by one. Does a real good job. There they are, five in a row. Slow motion. Sorry it takes a little bit too long, but I had to put this in slow motion. It was fun watching them fly off here. I wanted to speed this up, but it really is just too much fun watching these cans fly up in the air when they get hit. You can't really see that in real time. So when you do the slow motion, it looks like uh, they're doing some kind of acrobat. And here comes another one flying down. And she'll get the last three real quick. Still slow motion, but it is entertaining. Now on for a little target practice. She's shooting first, and I'll come after her. This is her round of 16 shots. Then I'll do a round of 16 shots. Here's mine. I'm on the left, she was on the right. And uh, this BB gun's pretty accurate. It does shoot well. <laughs> you decide, I guess, any. So that's our groupings. She was here. I was here. Obviously, this has nice groupings with the Glock 19. It's uh, really good for target practice. It still has lots of power. We've already shot 
about seven, six or seven magazines with it and I'm still getting power with it. So it seems to be a lot stronger. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but that's actually the BB marks from shooting the target. So this thing does have quite a bit of power, more power than the other BB guns. Show you right there, all the BBs going into the wood. Very easy to load. And using Crossman again, 177. Let's have some fun, see if I can shoot some balloons. I don't know if I can or not. Yeah, too easy. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> A little bit more of the winter wonderland. Some ducks out on the river. Well, gang, that'll about do it for this video on the Glock 19 BB gun. Also, some of the frozen lakes and trails that we have around Michigan here in our wonderful winter wonderland. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. I'm certainly looking forward to having you join me on the next few videos. Until then, take care.